Learning Style for Mystery Excel Podcast, episode 1969, formula increment 1 2 to 3 4. All right, today's question sent in from Haig How to make an automatic range counter? For example, if I start with the number 1 2, I want that to increment to 3 4 and then 5 6. All right, well, this is uh, a complicated formula, but each piece of the formula is uh, really uh, kind of simple. First thing we want to do is we want to use the find command to look for that dash in A1, right? Uh, here uh, in these small numbers, it's always in the second position, but if we get up to the point where it's like 101 dash 102, well then it's going to be in the fourth position. So using the find is the, uh, the first piece here. And then where does the second number start? Well, that's one more than the find. So equal find plus one uh, locates where the second number starts. And then what is the second number, right? So I use here the mid of the, of A1, this answer, and then I just chose a really big number like 20 or 10. You know, who knows? Is this is this going to get up to millions? How far are we going to copy this? Uh, 20 is just a, an insanely large. This is going to start at uh, position 3 for a length of 20, which is just going to be, in this case, the digit 2. Uh, and that isolates for me the second number. And then add one to that, right? So wherever this cell ended, the next cell is going to uh, start at one more than that. So that's just a simple uh, plus one. That's the plus one right there in my formula. All right, and then finally, uh, concatenate a dash. So that's the ampersand quote dash quote. At this point, we have the first part of the next cell, but then what we have to do is figure out the second digit, the second digit. Now, this is really going to be incredibly similar. We're going to have to go back, figure out where the dash is, figure out where the second number starts, uh, what's the second number, and then add 2 to the second number. So, you'll see here in the next couple of steps, uh, it, the second part of the formula is going to work exactly like the first one, uh, but eventually we're going to come out here to a plus 2 instead of a plus 1. And then finally, do the concatenate. All right, so all of this that was built over the course of these uh, 10 steps finally just becomes one big formula like that. All right, so uh, you know, you look at this formula, it seems like a lot's going on, but really, uh, you know, you just have to build it one step at a time, uh, starting with let's isolate uh, from this cell the second number, and we do that by using the dash. That's how we start with the find formula. All right, so let's do a little test here. Uh, it works great with 1 dash 2, but let's say it starts with something else like maybe uh, 7 dash 8, all right, and see it automatically increments, all right. But then I started thinking about, well, hey, you know, what if, what if you don't always want to increase by 2? What if we want it to follow some sort of a pattern? Uh, can we build a tougher formula uh, that maybe like if we start with 1 dash 5, it will uh, take the 5 plus 1 to start at 6, but then figure out how many to increment, all right? And so that's this whole second part of the formula that's basically saying, hey, well, what's the first number? Uh, what's the increment? And then add the increment to uh, the last number to make the second number, all right? So uh, this big long formula is kind of cool that it'll follow any pattern. Let's say we start at 7 and we jump up by uh, 3, 7, 8, 9. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But it also works for, you know, we start at uh, 1,001 and we go to uh, uh, 2,000. Then it will automatically increment, all right? So, you know, these these complicated formulas, uh, you know, unfortunately, when you just happen upon this, it's like, well, what's going on? Uh, they're all really just built uh, one step at a time like that. And then you combine it all back together to make a large formula. All right, well, I want to thank Haig for sending that question in. I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.